Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorial series. As I told from this video tutorial onward, we are going to learn and understand Photoshop application in detail. I suggest you people to install Adobe Photoshop CS6 in your system so that you can start working with me side by side. If you have already installed some other Adobe Photoshop version, still okay, you can work with me. I have installed Adobe Master Collection CS6 in my computer, which actually installed Installs other Adobe softwares like Illustrator, Flash, Dreamweaver, Premiere, etc. For teaching these softwares, I do not want to install each of them independently or separately. Hence, I have installed all these softwares using only one package that is Adobe Master Collection CS6. Okay, let's start learning Photoshop. In this video tutorial, we understand how to open or launch a Photoshop application and understand Photoshop UI and its major components. Before we understand Photoshop user interface, first we understand how to open Photoshop application or steps to launch the Photoshop application. Steps are click on start, click on all programs, locate for Adobe Master Collection CS6, click on it and locate for Adobe Photoshop 64 bit. If you click on it, you can see the Photoshop application is getting launched. So Photoshop application got open. This is a one way of uh, launching the Photoshop or opening the Photoshop. Let me show other way. I click on close button. The other way to launch a Photoshop is I click on start. Then here I am going to say Adobe Photoshop. So you can see it has listed Adobe Photoshop CS6 and 64 bit. I just click on Adobe Photoshop CS6 64 bit. You can see again the Photoshop is getting launched. Photoshop got open. I show you another way of launching the Photoshop. I close it. I minimize the document. If you find a Adobe Photoshop shortcut on your desktop, you just need to double click on it. Once you double click on the shortcut, automatically the Photoshop will get launched. That is how you can open the Photoshop. Go to start, click on all programs, locate Adobe Master Collection CS6, click on the Adobe Master Collection CS6 and then locate Adobe Photoshop CS6 64 bit, click on it then the Photoshop application gets launched. When we launch the Photoshop application, what we see? At the top of the application window, you can find menu bar. Just below the menu bar, you can find option bar. On the left hand side, you can find toolbar or toolbox. On the right hand side, you can find panels or we say palettes or windows. And the middle free area of the application is known as document area. You can see this is a Photoshop user interface. At the top, you find the menu bar. Just below the menu bar, there is a option bar. On the left hand side, you can see the toolbar. On the right hand side, you will see panels or palettes or windows. And this gray area that you see here, it's called as document area or file area. I have took a screenshot of the Photoshop and edited a little bit, you can see. And I suggest you people to write down this in your notebook. So at the top, we have menu bar. Below that, we have option bar. On the left hand side, we have toolbar. On the right hand side, we have panels, palettes or windows. And this middle gray area is file or a document area. Let's talk about each of them a little bit. Okay, later I discuss about each of these Photoshop components in detail. Okay, first I talk about menu bar. What menu bar contains? Menu bar contains various menus like file menu, edit menu, image menu, layer menu, type menu, select menu, filter menu, 3D menu, view menu, window menu, help menu and also some minimize, maximize, restore, close buttons you can see. The next component is toolbox or toolbar. Toolbox contains almost all tools required to create and edit images. So this is actually called as toolbox or a toolbar. Here you can find various tools which you can use to edit or create images. And the next one we have is option bar. Option bar displays settings for currently selected tool or it displays options 
for currently active tool. That means you can see here the option bar is showing options or settings for the mark you tool. If I switch it to brush tool, you can see the options are changed in the option bar. So if I change it to pen tool, automatically the options are changing or settings are changing. So that's what the option bar is meant for. Next is panels area. This area is for stacking various panels or windows or palettes. These are actually windows or palettes or panel. You can see here I have color palette, I have swatches panel, I have layers window. So there are so many windows are stacked in this place, right? And the next one is document area. This area is for displaying a newly created document or any file that you open is going to be displayed or placed in this area. Let me show that. For example, if I create one new document, for example, file, new, I just say OK. You can see the new document got created in this area or placed in this document area or file area. I close it or I can open some document. I go to file, open. I select here Photoshop UI document. I click on open. You can see that document is placed in the document area or the file area. I have took a screenshot of the Photoshop and I just edited also in the Photoshop for explanation purpose. So in this video tutorial, we understood how to open the Photoshop or how to launch Photoshop and we understood the various Photoshop components or Photoshop user interface components. We understood what menu bar contains, what toolbox contains, what option bar does, what's the purpose of panel area, what's the purpose of document area. We can customize the Photoshop layout or workspace according to our convenient. In the next tutorial, I am going to discuss how we can customize the Photoshop layout or workspace according to our convenient or according to our requirement and why understanding the Photoshop workspace is most important. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. Hope you guys have understood Photoshop user interface and how to open Photoshop. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.